Welcome to the No Pants Show. For your safety and protection, please keep all hands, arms, legs, and elbows. Take off your pants and open up your ears. And don't click on another video. On to the show. Well, it's a cold, dreary day here in the No Pants Show. And that's why we're wearing pants. <laughs> that's right, Michael. Anyways, let's talk with our favorite animal, Bear. Hello, my name is Bear Schwartz, and I'm the head buddy here on the No Pants Show. Damn chair. I just wanted to do a little bit of a voice accent for you, at least the ones that I know. Okay. Now, I'm a big guy at a bar looking for his drink. Where is that drink? Where is it? Where? Was it over there? Huh? Hmm? Do you have it? Here I go, and I hop, 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 shoes. And I hop, 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 and I hop. Where do I, okay, I should probably go under here. And I hide. Okay, and what we're going to do right now is I'm going to show you all the accents that I think I have mastered. In the end, you know, I, I don't like that you're pointing the camera at me. Can you just face the camera the other way? Don't turn around, turn around. No, come, come back here. Don't actually fucking turn around. Get get back here. I don't want... Estás mirando el espectáculo de... No pantalones. Bonjour. Mi nombre es David. Désolé, je n'ai pas le bon français. Uh, probably one of the most common accents that's ever used in cinema is the British accent. It can be very difficult to do and very difficult for people to get the linguistics down when it comes to uh, saying things correctly. Like the word vitamins in English is actually vitamins in British and also extraordinary is extraordinary Anthony is Anthony so on and so forth <laughs> good one Michael anyway a good thing that all directors should be familiar with are different types of angles one of my favorite has to be the canted angle, or some of you may know it as the Dutch angle. Like that. Make things askew. Coming back to normal now, uh, we have the uh, different types of movement shots. Kind of like either the pan, where it kind of goes from one to the other side. <laughs> Good one, Michael. Anyway. Another type of angles that you need to know would be uh, the tilt, which is either like up or down, you know. Uh, some of the main angles that most directors definitely need to be known is the focusing in, like zooming in or like a, a rack focus in, like you just to give it more of a blurry, like now I'm out of focus and I'm coming back in slowly. Am I, am I in focus? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good one, Michael. The thing about other angles is you need to have different types of close-ups. One of my personal favorite has to be the extreme close-ups, and that's when you get really, really close, either on the mouth or the eyes. And then there's the medium close-up, where you get from about the chest up to about the top of the head, maybe a little above, and those are good just to show a a character who's on an average day, but then if you tilt it, it makes it suspenseful, and you don't know what's coming up. And when you get in high places and lay on your side, it becomes romantic. It doesn't matter what angle you get on this one, just as long as you can see his face or her face, and everything becomes soft and smooth. Oh, and one last thing.